said uh, True American Foursquare. Okay. This was built in 1923. So what is the definition of a foursquare? As you see when we walk around the property, it is a true square. Each level has about four boxy rooms, and it's kind of a type of a craftsman home. It was actually built as a single family and then converted to a three-unit property and then reconverted to single family when my clients took ownership. There's a lot of unique design details that make it modern and functional, but still play with the character of the house. Shall we take yeah, a look? Yeah, go take a look and let me know what you think. All right. Wow, look at this tile. <laughs> okay, my eyes are buzzing and loving at the same time. That is great. <laughs> totally not traditional for no, a 1924 crazy. house. Exactly. But I adore it. It's that juxtaposition of mm -hmm. old and new, and it's right. like. So you know what? We're starting in square one. <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> well, let's see square two, the living room. Okay, this is so bright and charming. And I love these two windows. You know, you can open them up and let the breeze in. Let that breeze let in. Let that breeze in. Square three. Here we have the dining room. You can just imagine, like, the family living in these squares. Mm -hmm. You know, it's perfect. Well, and you know what the dining room table is always used for? Eating. No, homework. <laughs> homework. Well, I did plenty of eating, but I could have done a little more homework, let's just say. So let's move on to square four. Square four. All right, the kitchen. And you know, I have to say, it is so nice to see something a little different. We haven't seen blue cabinets, and we haven't seen a butcher block countertop. I also like this dark brown in the subway tile. It does make it pop. Yep. Definitely. And they took the cabinets out, and they've got floating shelves, which I like here. You know, I'm always torn with the floating shelves. Sometimes I'm like, do they take away too much space? But they have enough bottom cabinets that I think you can actually get away with that. And you're right, it does open it up so much. It visually opens it up. Not like they needed it, because this is a big space, but it's nice. No, because it's a really good sized kitchen. Well, you know what I'm noticing? Porch. Oh. Look at this. Screen in porch. Mm -hmm. Outdoor dining. Oh my gosh. And take a look at that patio and garden. Oh, spot. that looks good. Well, we'll wait to see that. <laughs> what do you say we head upstairs and take a look at the bedroom? Sounds good. All right, top floor. Well, here we are. We have our square. Four bedrooms, one okay. bathroom. Okay, I'll check out bedroom one. All right. All right. Oh, you know, this really is ample space for a bedroom. It has, you know, the natural light, the windows. Nice size room. And another nice size room, front of the house, good light. Okay, we hit center square. Center square, <laughs> the four square. Okay, uh, another bedroom. I think this is probably the, the parents' bedroom. And bedroom number four. And again, big bedroom, just so like I mean, that one. If I were a kid, I would love that size bedroom. Me too. <laughs> My bedroom's smaller than that now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the bathroom. All right. So here's the one bathroom on this level. We like this honeycomb tile. Yeah, it's been nicely remodeled. Yeah, and this beadboard. Very traditional for that time. It is. Yeah. yeah. Shall we check out the down, lower level? All the way down. Watch your head. <laughs> All right. Oh, we have a whole other additional living space down here. Sure enough. Kitchen. Living room here. Yeah. A bit bedroom and probably bath. And actually, it does have the separate doorway, so it would be a perfect Airbnb or rental. Right to the front yard. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. What do you think? Well, now I know what a four square is. Well, I'm going to call this house Bohemian Chic. That's a great description of this house. Well, you know, having these owners coutrements in their home, you know, every single facet of their design really helped the overall impression of the house. Yeah, you really feel the love in here. You know, somebody yes. really appreciated the character in this home, and the updates are made with uh, still kind of preserving that historic character, but yeah. functional for a modern family. Absolutely. Well, I know you've owned the inside, but I have to own this outside. This lot is amazing. You have this great deck, which just screams dance party. <laughs> and then, I mean, you have this other space. You have a garage and a space for a garden. I think it's amazing. It's really the best of all outdoor spaces combined into one. Mm -hmm. Because this had been a multifamily, this was all paved for parking. See, my family, we'd have polka parties out here. Oh, a polka party, that would be good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this four square, as you saw, is built in 1923. Mm -hmm. Five bedrooms, good-sized bedrooms. Yes. Yep. Three full baths, 
Everything is really renovated and up to date. You've got a lot of the unique features, which have the wood burning fireplace and the hardwood floors and mm -hmm. renovated bathrooms and beautiful tile and light fixtures. Mm -hmm. It's over 2,500 square feet on three levels. Oh. I would think that John is channeling his inner Flower Avenue through his uh, family trying. right now. Oh, no, you're putting more pressure yeah. on. Yeah. It's well, like you a... get to go first, also. I do this you time. Do. In this market, currently, based on other homes and what they've sold for, what I think this house should sell for, yeah. I'm going to put in a guess of 655000 Christine, okay. what are you thinking? I agree, it's worth every penny of six hundred fifty thousand, but I think it's worth a little more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in at a listing price of seven hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Even more of a disparity than last time. <laughs> There's right? see how we do that, <laughs> right? Yeah. So the actual listing price of this beautiful four square on flower mm -hmm. was six hundred and seventy-five. Oh! Oh, you are so close. Yeah, well done. Oh, good job. Okay, good that job. makes me very happy. Yeah. That's a bargain. However, I will say, and to give you kudos, Christine, okay. this actually had multiple offers and mm. escalated to a record-breaking number of $851,000. <laughs> that is mind-blowing. It really is. It really is. I mean, I think this house spoke to a lot of people yeah. in a good way, oh, and uh, the numbers proved that.